People who have actually had their sex with a step relative. What was the aftermath? Not me but. My co-worker got his nephew a job with our company to help straighten him out and let him live with him. A few months later he starts talking about how he's going to be a granddad cause his 18 yo daughter who lives at home is pregnant. We later found out his nephew was banging his daughter on the regular and was the father of his grandbaby. Nephew got fired for failing a drug test not even 6 months into the gig. Pretty sure he ended up getting kicked out of their house too shortly thereafter. Not me but someone I was friends, we'll call her Sara, within high school. Sarah's half brother, we'll call him Alan, passed away. And everyone gathered for the funeral. This turned into an extensive family reunion. Sarah found herself interested in the half brother's other half brother, we'll call him Dan. Dan and Alan shared the same mom. While Alan and Sarah shared the same dad. Sarah and Dan were not related. But she got a lot of shti for it. She ended up moving out of the state to be with him. And has happily been with him for 7 years now. Alright. Here we go. So. I meet girl. Meet her mom and dad. The girl and I have sex and date for several months. She gets pregnant. I join the navy to support my new family. I leave for boot camp and she starts sleeping around. So we break up. During this time her mom goes crazy. Her dad leaves her mom. He then starts seeing my mom. They get married. Boom. My ex is now my stepsister and my son is now my nephew. Welcome to West Virginia Yale. Technically my step cousin. My mom married his uncle. We met as adults and hooked up quickly after meeting. We're married now. Whenever someone asks how we met. I just tell them he's my cousin. My parents used to be step siblings. My mom was 6. Dad was 12 when my mom's mom married my dad's dad. My dad lived with his mom primarily though. And they never spent much time together. I think my grandparents were married for 6-10 years or something like that before they divorced. When my mom was about 20. Dad was 26 and he asked her out. They've been married for like 35 years. The complicated bit is that I have an aunt that was born from the marriage of my maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather. So my parents share a half sibling. But they are no longer step siblings. Edit. Rephrase the sentence for clarity. Also. Guys. There are plenty of other southern hillbilly ass states aside from Alabama. Unless I'm missing a reference to something. That being said. Every generation beneath my great grandparents on both sides has been born and raised in CA. Although funnily enough. My aunt did move to a southern state when she got married. I like to joke that she complicates the family tree so they kicked her out. My dad was banging my mom's sister and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes. Florida. I knew a girl in high school whose best friend's mom married her dad. Then the best friend and dad were caught ducking and it had been a whole thing. Both of them were really gross. So her friend, the one with the mom, ducked your friend's dad? So he ducked both the mother and daughter? My sister gave our stepbrother a blowjob on one end of our wraparound couch. With our grandmother asleep on the other end. Spoiler alert. She woke up. We had some ducked up family dynamics. Edit. I've answered these in the comments but for anyone who doesn't feel like scrolling. What happened when she woke up? My grandmom woke up mid job. Smacked my sister on the back of the head with her slipper. They sprung apart and ran away without saying a word. And the next morning everyone just acted like nothing ever happened. As far as I know. My grandmother never said a word about it to anyone. Where was I? I was in bed. Sneakily reading Aragorn and none the wiser. Until my sister told me the next morning. Hey I think I've seen this one before. My mother passed away. So my brother and I moved in with my father. Stepmother and stepsister. My parents had a brutal divorce. So we were not very close to them. In fact. We didn't see my father for years. Fast forward. My brother. Stepsister. Stepbrother and I would play lights out as teenagers. Basically. 
turn the lights out and start beating the shti out of each other with pillows or anything we could find. I know it sounds like a sick game. Later. When we all played and wondered why I was not getting my hair pulled or punched. I turned on the lights and found my brother and stepsister making out. We stopped playing lights out but my brother and sister were secretly seeing each until my stepmother found out. Edit. My friend did it and now everyone calls him step bro at school. My uncle married his stepsister when they were teenagers. They had four kids together and divorced. Years later my dad married her. She was his stepsister and younger brother's ex-wife. My cousins became my step-siblings. Uncle lived around the corner. Her kids did not like being told what to do by their uncle. My dad always felt like she treated me and my sister poorly. My grandma threatened to disown my dad several times for marrying her. They were together for about a year before stepmom couldn't handle dad's drinking anymore and he said he was sick of her kids disrespecting him and her not treating my sister and me good enough. We moved out but they stayed married for over 10 years. Cousin step siblings weren't as close with us after that and my sister and I were kinda considered black sheep of the family. Too bad. I liked being around my cousin so much and I thought my aunt stepmom was cool. I was like 10-11 at the time though. I can't imagine what those two were thinking when they got together in the first place. Whole thing was confusing to say the least. Let's just slip right to relatives. Caught my cousins kissing. I quietly snuck out to let them do whatever horrors they intended. Never mentioned it not once. Well apart from the odd slight remark every now and again. It was just a quick fling I believe. Edit. They weren't siblings. They were also cousins to each other. I think they were around age 18 give or take a couple years. Didn't happen in the US as some people have tried to guess for various reasons and experiences. Thanks for all the interesting replies. Too many to reply to but enjoyable to read. If you know people that have married or dated their cousin. No judgement from me and I hope they are happy. I had a co-worker who told us unashamedly that she had sx with a distant cousin. Another co-worker asked like a fourth cousin of something? Full stop. She said no. He was my first cousin. But lived two states away. My best friend had sx with his stepsister. She fell in love since it was her first time and he didn't. She then asked him to formally date her to which he refused and ghosted her. Moved out of the city. She entered a deep depression and they haven't spoken in years. This took a sad turn. Not my story. But my partner's ex-friend ducked his aunt. They aren't related biologically related but the aunt knew the guy since he was baby. Plus. The uncle and him were close and he worked for with his uncle. Basically. The aunt was going through a breakup with his uncle. The ex-friend and aunt got drunk. Ducked and kept as a thing. They only stopped when the uncle got his act together and wanted her back. Aunt told him everything, but pretty sure not the consistency of how many times. When the uncle found out. He called work saying he was going to kill his nephew if not beat the living shti out of him. The co-workers told the ex-friend and he skipped town. Obviously they no longer have a relationship with the aunt or uncle. I did note. Completely forgot about this comment as I got preoccupied with other events. Was not expecting this. Time to look at my inbox. I got confirmation that he was 21 years old and he did have other Ezul encounters. But he lost his virginity to his aunt. Well we had sx two times. She got pregnant. We tried to work it out. It didn't go well. She left to a different state and then threatened to come get our daughter. I got a lawyer and filed for custody. She never responded and I won by default. I haven't heard from her since my daughter was 8 months old. That was over 4 years ago now. Edit. Does no one remember to use protection when they are banging a sibling? My stepbrother is also my brother-in-law. He married my sister and they have two kids. This isn't a good story though. They were dating before our dad and his mom started dating. So we all met as adults. Had a co-worker who was sleeping with his stepsister. Both of them were already in college when their parents met and got married. 
pretty sure it lasted a while. With them all living in the same house. Eventually got caught by one of the parents which ultimately led to the parents separating. Sis loves me. Edit. Thanks for the gold big brother. Hooked up with dad's girlfriend's daughter before they married. Her mom found out. All she said was well. I'm glad you two got it out of your system before you're related. Anyways it was boring and pointless. The whole naughtiness of it was the best part. Edit. Punctuation. Because I'm worried about what you people will think of me. Not me but my older brother. For years the story was he got the clap from this older woman who took his virginity. A month ago he told me the truth. He got the clap from our stepsister. Who at one point tried to sleep with me too. He clapped dat ass. And dat ass clapped back. My parents are stepsister brother. What's your relationship with them like? To quote Jigook. If they're not blood related. They're free to be dated. As long as you say no chromo. My husband's brother secretly dated their stepsister. Only my husband knew about it. Despite him telling his brother that it was a bad idea. He still pursued the relationship. They had to confess to the family because she unexpectedly got pregnant. Their mom was upset and disappointed. But said she'd support their decision to be in a relationship and start their own family. The father however. Could not get on board and pressured his daughter to get an abortion and to end the relationship. They still ended up together and had the baby. A few years later. They both cheated on each other and ended the relationship. Family gatherings are super awkward with my husband's side of the family. Edit. I should add. When they became step siblings. She was 10 and he was 13. They started dating when she was 23. A girl I worked with had, in my opinion, a really weird situation. A dad was dating a woman and she was dating the woman's son. All living under the same roof too. I believe they broke up and it got pretty toxic as they kept trying to make their step sibling jealous by bringing home randoms to sleep with. A girl I went to middle school with was impregnated by her stepbrother. She must have 12 or 13. I think he was 17-19. Childhood me thought she was trashy but adult me knows she was groomed and taken advantage of. I think her parents more or less raised the kid as their own and her role was more of a sister. Eek. So sad. There's someone in my discord server that has not only ducked. But is dating and recently impregnated his stepsister. Apparently the parents are cool with it. It weird when you think about it. But they aren't related. Some people used to go to church with got married. An attractive young couple. He was 24 she was 22. Their parents were all divorced. The bride's dad hit it off with the groom's mom. Fast forward a year and the mom and dad are getting married. Making the newlywed stepbrother and sister. Now the parents have a new kid making it simultaneously their half brother and their nephew or some shti like that. It's ducked up. They're all really nice people. And mostly normal. It's just a weird ducking situation. This thread is like a car accident. I really don't wanna see what people say but I also can't help but to be curious. We fixed the washing machine so she wouldn't get stuck anymore. What are you doing? Step bro. After we finished. My stepsister really did help me with my math homework. Double win. Absolutely nothing. We were in our 20s when our parents got married. Got drunk one night years later. Smashed. Went about our business. We'd hook up every once in a while afterwards. But just kinda stopped. No fanfare. No drama. And we're still cool. Fun while it lasted. 10 stroke 10 would hit again. I did some handwork with my stepsister in 2012 when we were teens. I dated my stepsister. We were dating and our parents had an affair and ended up getting married. It has made things a little bit awkward but most of the aftermath has just been I'm able to make jokes about hooking up with my stepsister. It's a fantastic icebreaker and people think I'm pretty ducked up but my friends love to give me shti about it. Special bonus. 
our parents met because we dated so I get to also make the joke that my parents got divorced because of me. I have a friend who, after a few years together with his girlfriend, found out his father was going out with his girlfriend's mother. So technically he's been sleeping with his stepsister since then. We were on a family holiday in Spain and the apartment was quite small so a few of us slept in the living room. I was almost asleep when I heard my older brother get a hand job from my stepsister. Now I think about it they were both ill for a few evenings that holiday so now I realize that was bullshit and it was bang city. My dad started dating my sister's boyfriend's mom. They were dating for about 6 months when it started but they had known each other for all their lives. We all grew up together and they lived two doors down. The boy was very cool with the situation and so was his mom and my dad. My dad even joked about my sister and her boyfriend sharing a room when he was moving in his girlfriend. My sister couldn't get over it and broke up with her boyfriend. He was very upset and still didn't see anything wrong. My sister and him were together longer than our dad and his mom were. Several documentaries of it were made. You can view them on p Hub. I know of a guy. He had a baby with his stepsister. All of his co-workers called him Uncle Daddy. Knowing Reddit someone's going to say. Not my step relative but I did have sx with my sister once. Oh. Oh. Finally a good one I can tell about. And it'll get buried. Note. I'm gay. He's. Step brother. A straight. Macho grease monkey type and always has been. I convinced him one day to allow me to help him put on a condom because he had no idea how to do this. We were young at the time. And one thing led to another and I was giving him a hand job. He had the most beautiful DCK. For years I would give him head and jack him off. Probably until we were 16. He would even request that I do it. So it's not like I was pushing it on him. Eventually we moved on with our lives and nothing is weird between us now. He has a kid and a girlfriend. That's it. It's just a past now. But I'd do it again if he wanted it. I met my dad and my stepbrother when I was 17. I moved in with them when I was 18 for about a year and a half. We were in a very odd situation where we became close quickly and one thing led to another and we ended up having sx a couple of times. It was very bizarre and we have never spoken of it since. If my stepmother had found out she would have been apoplectic and it would have definitely been my fault. Edit. I am not sure how people are reading that I had sx with my dad. I met them both for the first time when I was 17 as my parents divorced when I was 2. I only slept with my stepbrother. My father's stepson. No three ways and certainly no sleeping with my dad. Bath. My mom dating this rancher and her daughter tried to introduce me to SX. She was 14 and I was 10. Or thereabouts. We talked about it for a few days before doing it. And one time. While we were sitting up on the branch of a tree in the front yard. She told me to put my hand down her pants. Which I did. It was fascinating. Then. One night. We tried. And nothing really happened. I mean through a series of games. She eventually got naked and asked me to kiss her all over. Which I did. But that was it. After a little while. She asked me if I was tired. And I said I was. The whole thing was exciting. But also a distanced kind of experience. If you know what I mean. I think fondly on it. But I also sometimes wonder what might have happened had we known what we were actually doing. About a 6 stroke 10 fun to do but ultimately only helped me to develop a complicated relationship with sx i had a friend in high school his step aunt gave him a blow job while currently dating my friend's uncle my friend was 16 at the time she was 24 and the uncle i think in the late 40s i think they fooled around for over a year then she got pregnant for the second child i don't know who the father is and I think no one ever found out. Or if they did. They were a little white trash. So you never know. Funny thing. When I told him I was gay. He said he did not agree with it because of morality. Needless to say. 
We are not friends anymore. Edit. A word. About the agent men are pay. I am not saying is not a thing. It was consensual. Even though he was 16. He bragged about it. Thinking about it. It all could be he lying. But that's what he told me at the time and I believed until now. Just blasted the whole state of Alabama with this post. OP said step relative. Not relative. It started with my dad dating a woman for quite a while. She had a really beautiful daughter the same age as me in my early teens. I was going to the movies with another friend and his family. On the way home from the movies we got into a bad car accident when a drunk driver hit us. Everybody was okay but I had gotten the worst of it. I broke both of my arms. Does it count if she wasn't my step relative till after? Her mom married my uncle. We had no idea they even knew each other till I went to a dinner at my great grandmother's house. Was supposed to be meeting my uncle's new fiancé. Walked in and my girlfriend is sitting in the living room. Didn't tell anyone we'd slept together. Ended the relationship immediately. So. You weren't related at all. But you ended the relationship why? What's a redneck's favorite holiday? Halloween. My stepsister ducked my cousin for a while. Not much after math. I think it was a FWB thing as I don't think they dated. Also when I was 16 I saw my stepsister naked while she was sunbathing. And I feel that's where I got attracted to pale skin. And blondes. My cousin was dating a dude and ended up having a kid with him. It didn't work out and they co-parent. A couple years later she started dating his stepbrother and then they end up having a kid. They married and now their kids are both siblings and cousins. Be fun for them to explain that to them when they're old enough. Also fun fact. I am the person who married them. This ought to get interesting. Obligatory roll tide. There is a whole lot of well. This isn't my story but. Full stop. A friend of mine once told me. Full stop. Full stop. In this thread. Nice try Ted Cruz. SHHHH don't blow my cover. Well technically if you wait until marriage for SX. You've only had SX with family members. Ended up getting hammered at a friend's wedding and hooked up with the Scottish girl who went to college with my buddy's new wife. We exchanged info and kept in touch through Facebook. Well one day I'm looking through her photos and I come across one of her with my mother. Explanation time. My parents are Scottish and divorced when I was two. My dad moved to the states with me because my mom is a piece of shitty junkie and didn't want me. Apparently she remarried and the girl I ducked was my half sister. After lots of back and forth I decided I had to tell her. Sent her a Facebook message but never heard back. Couldn't blame her. I was pretty ducked up from it. Flash forward 6 months. She finally responds. What she said still sends chills down my spine. Can I get about tree fitty? Yep. Turns out my half sister was actually a 50 foot tall crustacean from the Paleolithic era. Still the best PSSY I ever had though.